What's up, my hivelings? Thank you for watching this new episode of the Wrestle Dudes Wrestle Doodles here today on this episode. I kept this month's episode kind of a mystery, honestly. To be tr completely honest, it's because I didn't know what the heck I was going to be doing for this month. But I finally figured out which one I wanted to do after watching Impact Wrestling this past week and seeing the end of this whole Dark War uh, storyline, at least with uh, Ali. I thought, you know what? I've been a big fan of Rosemary for a long, long time and I feel like it's crazy to think that I haven't done a drawing of Rosemary yet so this month's episode is going to be Rosemary and if you guys want to download this wallpaper for free completely free no strings attached just wait until the end of the video and I'll give you guys the link on how to uh, download this and you can use it for your phone or your laptop or your wallpaper and throughout this video I'm gonna be sprinkling in uh, a couple facts that you might not have known about uh, Rosemary the meat suit known as Rosemary her words, not mine. So as you guys know with these drawings, I usually like to start out with like a, a, a nice little uh, a crappy trace line and then I can go in and work on some of the more finer details later. Uh, I'm kind of trying out a new method here. Normally I'll just go with what's there, but for this episode and for this drawing I want to try a different method by working on like what's going to be underneath and do it as like layers. That way I don't miss out on any small details, uh, especially for a drawing like this. I mean, granted I do take a couple of shortcuts like uh, you can see on her shirt uh, once the actual like picture in the background uh, goes up. She has like these little like fishnet marks. I didn't end up doing the fishnet marks just because like my drawing tool that I was using wasn't able to get that small enough to make those good fishnet marks but I and I ended up finding a good balance. I mean uh, the whole thing that I have about these like drawings is that it's drawing these pro wrestlers in sort of like this cartoonish style. I, I, I wouldn't really want to compare it to Hanna-Barbera but but some kind of like a cartoonish style that you would see on maybe like a Saturday morning cartoon. And definitely seeing Rosemary as a cartoon, especially the final product, she definitely looks like some sort of like cartoon character or cartoon villain. She, she seems like somebody that like the Justice League would fight. Or she kind of seems like a more crazy version of like Harley Quinn from like the Batman animated series. Uh, but this uh, Rosemary drawing will actually have two versions of it. You're seeing the original version uh, here, uh, but there will be a second version that I'll show you guys at the end of the video when I show you guys how to download it. But this uh, drawing is actually going to be a combination of two different versions of Rosemary. Uh, Rosemary has had a lot of different face paints and face or I wouldn't say face paint, it's more of a meat suit. She's had different meat suits throughout the years, and so I was uh, struggling to find good pictures of, like, uh, ones that I wanted to do, and I ended up finding this one, but there was one certain face paint that I really, really liked, or uh, meat suit design <laughs> on the face that I really, really liked, and so I wanted to incorporate that into this drawing, so you're going to see a little bit of a combination of two different meat suit face designs here for Rosemary. So right here, we're just going to work on the face, get the outline for the skull part of the, the face, and this was actually very, very cool to do. Like, uh, when I saw Rosemary with this face paint, I thought it was very interesting because I, it had been a while since I had watched Impact Wrestling, and the last time I saw Rosemary was uh, with Decay, and they were infiltrating the House of Hardy, trying to steal uh, Matt Hardy's son. <laughs> Which, um, it's crazy to think I'm a fan of Rosemary right now, considering she did try to kidnap a child. But, hey, you know, she made it up to us. Uh, she helped out Allie, and, uh, even though Allie has passed away, rest in peace, Bunny, uh, we still have the queen of the hive mind here to help us through these hard times. But, uh, yeah, Rosemary, been a big fan of her for a long time, uh, and now we're working on this. I think this face paint looks really, really cool. Uh, I, I like the design of it. It's a very cool sculpt shape uh, it's very interesting to see Rosemary it was very weird seeing Rosemary for the first time especially when she had like just the blacked out eyes and then when she started like showing more of her face 
uh, it was just kind of jarring. I was like, oh my god, this girl used to be, like, creepy as hell. I mean, I still thought she was pretty cool, especially, like, when she had her rivalry with, uh, Jade, now Mia Yim in, uh, NXT. Uh, I loved their matches. I think I actually did, like, a, a 2K19 or 2K18, like, simulation of their, like, what was it, a Monsters Ball, uh, match. You guys can watch that. I'll, like, link it somewhere, like, at the end of the video. But... Yeah, I really enjoyed their feud, and now uh, I get to make this drawing of Rosemary for you guys. And some interesting history here about Rosemary. She's wrestled in a lot of different places under a lot of different names and a lot of different meat suits. So I'm going to rattle off a couple of places and let me know if you've ever seen Rosemary compete at any of these places. She has competed for Acclaim Pro Wrestling, Atomic Revolutionary Wrestling, Bellatrix Female Warriors Wrestling, Great Canadian Wrestling, NCW Femme Fatales, uh, Pure Wrestling Association, Shimmer Women's Wrestling, TNA slash Impact Wrestling, Tri-City Wrestling, and also she was ranked number 8 out of the top 50 female wrestlers in the Pro Wrestling Illustrated Female 50 in 2014. So if you never knew that about Rosemary, there you go, some more trivia. And as we're continuing on here, I'm just working on a little bit more of the shadow around like the neck area. Let me know in the comment section below, when you first saw Rosemary, no matter where it was, it could have been on Impact Wrestling, it could have been somewhere else, the first time you ever saw Rosemary, what was your first impression of her? Uh, personally for me, the first time I ever saw her was when uh, Decay debuted, and she looked creepy as all hell, and then, you know, she started to grow on me, she had, like I said, she had that big feud with uh, Mia Yim, and I started becoming a, even more of a fan of her, and then she started teaming with Allie, and she became a real big favorite of mine in terms of, like, women's wrestlers, and now she's one of my favorites, and hopefully one day I get to meet her, you know? But let me know in the comment section below, what was your first impression when you ever saw Rosemary on your television screen, or on the internet, or wherever the heck you saw her in the dark realm? Who knows? <laughs> Just let me know in the comments what you first thought. And now we're just working on more of the chest area, and I'm working on this, like, piece of her top that's sort of like a belt that, like, goes across. I don't know if there's, like, a specific name for it, but, uh, yeah, we're working on that, and then I'm working on the fingernails. I'm making them a, a pretty much just a, a light gray. Uh, right here, it sort of looks like the paint has been, like, chipped off, but, like I said, I'm going for more of, like, a comic booky feel. Maybe I'll go back and uh, fix this later on, but for right now I just kind of wanted to leave it at a specific gray. And now we're going to get started on the hair. The hair was actually very difficult to do considering it is this sort of like puffy out and it's got like a lot of curls towards the end, so it was very difficult to like shape it. Uh, yeah, for some reason my camera just all of a sudden blacked out there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, here I'm going to find that shading of color, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to color out the finer details here, as you're going to see. And then it was even more difficult to try and like get the actual like swirl colors correct, so uh, for this I had a little bit of like shading to do. And, you know, I, I feel like I ended up finding, like, a good combo of, like, how much red I wanted to do, and how much orange, and how much yellow I wanted to do. And then after this, we're going to work on more of the face and the eyeballs and stuff. And those eyeballs are actually going to be from my favorite version of Rosemary. Uh, like I said, Rosemary's had a lot of different meat, meat suits throughout uh, her career. My favorite version of the meat suit has been from when she first met Allie in a backstage segment. She, she had this, like, cool, like, uh, white face with, like, these, like, I don't know how you would describe them. She had, like, these red and black, like, lines going straight down her face, and she had, like, contacts in, uh, she had, like, one, like, white-out eye, and then the other one was, like, a red eye. I don't know, maybe I'll put, like, a little screenshot of it up here, but I just thought that was a really cool design. Uh, I think I actually used that design of, like, 
face for like my Halloween costume when I was just going out trick or treating for Halloween one year. Uh, but yeah, that's my favorite version of Rosemary. But like I said, there's been a lot of different versions of Rosemary. Let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite version of Rosemary. Is it this one? Was it the one I was talking about? Is it a completely different one? Was it her first iteration? I don't know. Let me let me know in the comment section below. Here we go, as we finish up the hair, looking very nice, very nice. Now we're gonna start working on some of the last steps that I'm gonna show you here, the face and the eyeballs. And so for the face and the eyeballs here, we're gonna start working on the eyebrows. And for this, I had to get like the, the correct color for the eyebrows and then I'm gonna circle them out so I can make sure that I have a good stencil line, make sure I don't like accidentally go into the area where the eyes are supposed to be. And then I'm gonna give like what what would you call this uh, eye shadow? I think it's called. I don't know. I don't I don't know makeup terms, so uh, I, I'm not sure. Oh, what am I kidding? This isn't makeup. This is a this is part of a meat suit. Come on, keep kayfabe alive. But yeah, here we go. We're just working on the eyebrows here. The eyebrows were actually pretty simple to do. Uh, yeah, and then I just started doing some line work. Some of the whites uh, from the background just started like bleeding through, so I kind of had to fix that up. Also, I think one of the parts that I cut out here is that uh, I did a little bit of shading work, you know, just adding some more shading in, making it look nicer, but you'll definitely see it in the final product and when you download it to use, uh, you'll definitely see the difference for uh, the coloring. But here now we're working on the eyes and the eyebrows and the eyelashes. So here I'm just trying to get the black outline. Like I said, I'm working on layers. So instead of doing like the white and then doing the black around it, I'm doing the black and then I'm doing the white afterwards. So it comes out a whole lot cleaner. See, that looks great. I might start using this method from here on out on all of my other drawings. And like I said, I'm adding in those different eyes. So instead of using the eyes that are in this meat suit of Rosemary, I'm going to be using the white out. Uh, like sort of like fish eye here and then in the other one I'm gonna be using that red eyeball so yeah I'm gonna work on this and I will show you here in a second how to download this free rosemary wallpaper So there you go you guys, here's the finished product of the Rosemary wallpaper for your phone or your tablet or anything like that. There's actually going to be two versions of this, you're seeing the normal version here and then BAM! We have a Russell Dude themed one. It's going to be blue and green color scheme instead of the orange and red color scheme. If you guys want to go ahead and download this, you can use the top link in the description uh, and I'll also have it as the first pinned comment and you can download these completely free and there are tons of other wallpapers on there, probably some extra ones that I just did in my spare time that I never did an episode on. So if you want to go ahead and download this rosemary wallpaper and use it for your phone or your tablet or your laptop or whatever the heck you want to use it for go ahead and download it today leave me your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on the next episode of the wrestle dudes wrestle doodles